Welcome back to the channel. It is Monday, July 29th. Got another nerfy episode coming for you guys today. Hey, I'm going to level with you guys, though. I'm not loving the nerfies today. There's not a whole lot that's jumping out on the pages to me. I did find two that we can roll with. Um, but, you know, looking over the games, I, like, pulled up the slate initially, right? And there was a handful that did pop out to me, but then I dive into it, and it's almost like every damn game today, the wind is blowing out towards left or center field. Um, and obviously, just, you know, not going <laughs> to aid us in any kind of nerfy bets. So, with that said, like I said, I did find two um, that I do feel confident enough to put in for today. So we will look into those. Uh, but before we do, let's recap our picks from yesterday. Uh, we did take the Reds and the Rays, and this one did hit for us. Took the Braves and the Mets. This was another cash. So off to a 2-0 start, feeling really good, right? Took the Mariners and the White Sox. Two-run home run does us in on that one in the back half of that first inning. And we had the Nationals and the Cardinals. Again, man, solo shot to left field from Contreras. Killed it. So... Two and two finish to the day in the Nerfy world. Let's get back on the winning side of things. So like I said, we found two of these guys to dive into today. Let's take a look at them. Uh, first game I'm looking at would be the Cubs and the Reds. Now, <laughs> I've cashed on two straight Reds Nerfy, so that's my like one hesitation here. Uh, my second hesitation would be the wind, right? The winds are projected to be blowing from right to left, uh, just under 10 miles per hour. However, I have seen on some sites where that wind slightly shifts and it's blowing right out towards left field. So that's something to keep in mind. Uh, maybe something to double check before placing any wagers on this one. Um, but we do have a 7-10 opening pitch time in this game. The Cubs are 67 and 40 to the nerfy on the year. The Reds 61 and 44. Uh, the Cubs come into this one, first inning batting average of 217. That's only 25th in MLB. Uh, and then against right-handed pitchers, not much better. 230, that's 24th. Uh, Carson Spires is on the mound for Cincinnati, a right-handed pitcher. Only five starts on the year, but he is 4-1 to the Nerfie in those five starts for an 80% hit rate. Uh, he's got an ERA of 383, a first inning whip of 1 even, and then a first inning opponent batting average of 211. Uh, Carson has given up no home runs in the first inning through his first five starts. He throws the fastball and the slider the most from his five-pitch arsenal, and Chicago has struggled with each of those this year. The Reds, they have been one of the worst hitting teams in baseball throughout the course of this season. Uh, in the first inning, their batting average is sitting at only 190. That's 29th in MLB. Uh, against right-handed pitchers, they are only hitting 226. That's 27th. Man. <laughs> uh, Jamison Tile on the mound for Chicago, a right-handed pitcher. Uh, he's got a nerfy record of 4-1 and one in his last five. 13-4 overall for the year. That's a 76% hit rate. He's got an ERA of 296. First inning whip of 106. First inning opponent batting average of 238. Uh, Cincinnati has hit the fastball in the cutter decently this year. Uh, Tile's top two thrown pitches, but they have struggled with the slider and the curveball uh, tremendously. Two pitches that we've seen him throw at the third and fourth highest rates. Uh, but he definitely has some stuff to throw at a Reds team that we all know struggles to hit the ball um, against righties, like we said, uh, and just in general as it is. Uh, the Reds at home, they're smacking the nerfy here lately. They're at a 90% hit rate in their last 10 games. Um, and they're in their first game back home from their recent road trip. I just see more struggles in store here for this already struggling team um, as far as the bats are concerned, especially. Uh, so I'll take a shot at the nerfy here with this one. And for our second game, I'm looking at the Cleveland Guardians and the Detroit Tigers. The Guardians have bit me in the ass uh, the last couple times here with these nerfies, which is making this, uh, makes it, I just, I'm really hesitant. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm not, like I said, I'm not loving these nerfies today. Um, but we'll say, you know, the Guardians are 56 and 49 to the nerfy on the year. The Tigers are 53 and 54. Uh, we do have an opening pitch time of 640 for this one. And the winds are projecting to be blowing in towards home base at 10 miles per hour that makes me feel so much better <laughs> uh, looking at this one compared to all the other games like i said man that wind is just not doing us any favors today uh the guardians first inning batting average is sitting at 227 versus right-handed pitchers are hitting 235 that's 19th in the league we have jack flaherty on the mound for detroit a right-handed pitcher his nerfy record is five and oh in his last five 14 and four on the year 78 percent hit rate and he's gone 11 straight first innings without giving up a run now um, so he's been he's been doing his thing. He has an ERA of 295, first inning whip of 83, and first inning opponent batting average of 197. 
Uh, Jack throws a healthy dose of his fastball, and Cleveland has seen them decently this year, but they struggle against the slider and the curveball. That's Flaherty's second and third most thrown pitches on the year. Uh, Detroit's first inning batting average is sitting at 240. That's 16th, middle of the pack, uh, versus right-handed pitchers, 229. That's only 25th. Uh, we have Tanner Bybee on the mound for Cleveland, right-handed pitcher. His nerfy record is 1-4 in, in his last five. Yikes, right? This is where it gets a little scary. 13-8 uh, and eight overall uh, in nerfies for the year, a 62% hit rate. He's got an ERA of 350, first inning whip of 105, first inning opponent batting average of 205. Um, like I said, this is where this one gets scary. Tanner Bybee is not a bad pitcher by any means, but these first innings here lately, I mean, they have just not been kind to him. Uh, he's given up six first inning runs in his last five games, two off of home runs. Uh, the thing is, Detroit does struggle with just about each pitch in his arsenal, specifically his slider, his changeup, and his curveball. Uh, with the wind working in our favor as well in this one on a day, like I said, where the winds in most parks are just screaming Yurfy, this looks like our best look at a Nerfie on the day. So I will say the Yankees and the Phillies, um, initially looking at the pitchers, right? They're strong, strong pitchers. And, you know, instantly I was like, hey, this this has Nerfie potential. But as you dive into it, okay, the winds are blowing strong out to left field. You know, looking at it from a Yurfy perspective, the Phillies are the first ranked team as far as Yurfies. They're hitting those at a 65 and 40 rate. And then the Yankees are third, 68 and 39. Um, so, you know, like I said, two powerhouses as far as bats, winds blowing in uh, the Yurphy favor. So I think that, you know, this one's worth a look. So, guys, that's going to wrap it up here for another episode. I hope you guys enjoyed the content. If you found it helpful or useful in any kind of way, if you liked it, please don't forget to smash that like button down there. Definitely helpful and continuing to help the channel to grow. And hit subscribe if you haven't already. That way you're not missing out on any of the content that we are dropping here. So I hope everyone has a great day today. Bet responsibly. Hope you guys get a bag. Let's go.